what's up folks welcome back to another 3d hangouts we made this really cool sign to promote the case for the constant current led booster bolt case for that last minute i added a little window so you can see the mini dip switches this is what's controlling the current so it allows you to change it from 25 to 50 100 connect a couple of the filaments together you will lose the power as they uh, all have different power draws super handy have the little tabs on the side so you can mount this and that is how this little uh, tetsubo sign is hooked up it's just mounted to the back of there. It's just dual extruded, one with a translucent and one with the darker color. In this case, it's a really good, a really good way to show that you don't really need to solder anything. You just uh, hook it up to the screw lock terminal with the TPS 61169 constant current boost converter for LEDs are in stock right now. Four dollars fifty cents. Get ten percent off with our code Shalsubo, and you can power all sorts of. It's a really good price. I didn't realize it was yeah. that cheap. The anode is denoted with a little circle on one of the pins. You can see how that is, uh, how you tell it apart. You can also add some markings on it. I like using the oil-based white Sharpie. We also have the 3MF file, so it is already painted for you. Download any of the formats that you uh, might want. STL's uh, step file, as well as the fusion file, if you want to check out how this is built. Positive and negative denotion on there, too. Oh, too. Good. Very nice. Yeah, I'm starting to do that more too. Yeah, because once you place it in the case, you're not going to be able to see which yeah, is which. which. So. Lights for your Lego builds. Yeah, cool. that'd be perfect. Our first 3D printed case for the Fruit Jam. This is the slim version where it's like the smallest possible case we can make uh, for the Fruit Jam. So let's open it. It's a uh, two-piece design. The RP2350 chip. You have the C6 ESP. 32 chip for Wi-Fi co-processing. You have onboard um, micro SD card for external storage, USB-C. We have a reset button, five NeoPixels, external audio via a uh, mini oval speaker. So we have a speaker connector that is the Pico Molex connector. We'll have a 3D model available as well so folks can design their own enclosures for the fruit jam. I put up together some mini code I'm using Liz's uh, MIDI for Makers guide. I just ripped some of the code and modulation and some delays and stuff um, using uh, MIDI CCs. And we hope to see you later tonight. We'll be here next week. But until then, remember to make, make a, a great, great day. day. Bye, folks. See you tonight.